Hi Jenna, my name is Melissa and I currently have three Syrian hamsters, um, two of which I hand raised by myself, well me and my boyfriend, and um, the reason why we hand raised them was because the, <laughs> um, the pet stores, they don't sell you like quality hamsters, um, a lot of them are like already sick or are predisposition to getting sick um, from travel or whatever. Uh, also, I don't think that pet stores uh, provide people with the right information to get to actually own a hamster and take care of it properly. So I figured out a way to definitely take care of it proper properly. So if you look, one of my hamsters, this is Caramel, and she's a Syrian hamster, and she's a girl. And if you like compare her to my phone, like, she's really big. Like, she's basically the size of my phone. So, the cage that I have in, her in right now is this cage, which is really big. And then you can see inside of it, there's a lot of space for her to run around. And do whatever she needs to do. The cages that they're going to sell you at the pet store are going to be half the size of that. You know, you want your hamster to have like a good life, be healthy, um, and so that you don't have to play with it like every night. You want to get it in a bigger cage. Also, the reason why your hamster got out probably is because they sold you a cage that the wires are too far apart. I don't think that hamsters should be in cages with wires. They also are nocturnal, obviously, and they're going to gnaw on those bars all night and keep you up all night. So the I found that the best option is these fish tanks, like these aquatic fish tanks, the glass ones. Um, the bigger the better, of course. Um, like I have my one one of the guys, the older one, he's in like an even bigger cage. And I mean, he absolutely loves it. He runs around all the time, he's so happy. Um, so yeah, basically I um, wanted to reach out to you to let you know that that's probably what you should uh, invest in if you want to get another hamster. Also, Syrian hamsters, only Syrian hamsters, cannot be caged together. So if you get two of them, make sure you get two cages. Because they'll fight each other until the, the death, basically. And um, but yeah, basically I'm trying to create um, a brand where I somehow educate people on how to properly take care of hamsters, like proper um, ingredients, I guess, for lack of a better word, needed, um, and what I feel is going to make the hamster, like, more comfortable, because the hamster is living in its cage its entire life. Um, you should definitely be playing with your hamster, at, like, at least, like, every other day, or, like, every, or, like, three times a week, at least, probably, but, like, I like to do it every other day, but you want to make sure your hamster's happy, you know? So that's what I'm here to help educate people to do so.